great thing about this technology is that it allows us to basically put imagery up so we can create backdrops and worlds and environments. But because they're on LED screens, it's also lighting the set. So we get the environmental lighting and it produces a much more convincing and realistic result than if we were just shooting against a, a standard backdrop. I've shot a lot of uh, rear projection and green screen over the years, like visual effects work. And having this huge screen of lighting is the one thing that you don't get in those situations. So you're often keying someone against a green screen or putting them against a, rear, a projection screen that's just in one direction only. It's usually just behind the, the actor. And then everything else is kind of you have to fake. So you're putting in lots of lights and things like that. Whereas here you can turn on the sky uh, or you can have mountains going by if it's a car shot. And so the environment that you can switch on is lighting the, the actor. And, um, and so the, it inherently looks more real straight away because they're, they're in that place because it wraps around. The beauty of it was with the reflections as well. It wasn't within a sense of trying to recreate that in a green screen environment where you could maybe spend days trying to build in the reflection plates for hands, for you know people's phones, for sunglasses. We got that instantly 